Here's a big question. How do we diet without being hungry all the time? We often associate dieting with being hungry or starving, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can get in shape, you can look great, and never feel like you're on a diet. So today I'm gonna to give you three tips on how you can diet without being hungry or hangry all the time. Number one is that you should start your day with a protein shake. Now protein requires more energy to digest than carbohydrates and fats. It has a minimal effect on your blood sugars, and it has a ton of nutrients that's gonna keep you feeling full fuller, longer, and it's also going to feed your muscles. Now, the type of protein that I recommend when you do break your fast and protein is your first meal is going with a whey protein concentrate. Now the protein percentage in a way is less than an isolate, but here's the thing. If you're using the protein as a first meal or a meal replacement, then you do want sugars and carbs and fats. Now, protein powders are not usually adding sugars. If you look at the ingredients in your protein powder, there's usually not added sugars. It's just natural sugars that are coming from the milk. So start your day with a whey protein so that you get the carbs, the fats, and the protein so it's a slower digesting, making you feel fuller, longer, and helping those muscles grow and recover. Number two is choose whole foods, okay? Drinking a protein shake, it doesn't provide a lot of volume, and if you're just eating like protein bars or stuff that's kind of small, condensed, a lot of high calories, a lot of high protein maybe, but either way, there's not a lot of volume. So if you can start eating whole foods instead of focusing on little snacks, then it's it's gonna add more volume to your stomach. It's gonna make you feel fuller and longer. Chicken breast over a protein shake, Greek yogurt and nuts over a protein bar, and an apple over that yummy popsicle. So focus on whole foods to keep you fuller, longer. And number three is that try intermittent fasting. Now, if you've never fasted before, just start with an eight hour window. Like you should be stopping before you go to bed anyways. So no matter what, if you're getting eight hours of sleep or you're eight hours in bed, you're already eight hours fasting. Why not try and extend your fasting hour by even just 30 minutes? And then every week, add on another 30 minutes, work your way up to 16 hours. When you do intermittent fasting, not only are you making your body use some of its stored body fat as fuel once you get into those longer hours. By doing intermittent fasting and having a smaller window for eating, it's going to restrict your eating hours so that you have less time to eat and what you eat will make you feel fuller for longer. So there we have it guys. We don't ever have to feel on a diet if we're making the proper food choices, if we start to do intermittent fasting, and if we start our day with a protein shake. Now do me a favor, give the video a like, Throw a comment as to what is your favorite protein powder or what protein powder you're drinking right now. Hit the share button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.